we've got two days. Well, really not even two full days until the craft fair. And I've been here working at the scroll saw, cutting stuff out. In fact, you can see my cutoffs piling up all over here. Um, we were doing some nativities, some mangers, some ornaments, and I'm trying something new this time. Doing these little figures like this and this like that. Uh, I got the patterns from a book and I will put that in the description below if you're interested. Um, I'm not quite sure we're going to get everything done that we wanted to, but we'll get a lot done and um, still have a lot of fun. And I like to see what sells, so this is kind of an experiment to see what sells and see what people like and to see where good price points are. So it's still going to be a lot of fun, but I got to get to work. We've been hard at work making final preparations for the craft fair, and you can see a sampling of some of what we've been doing here. Um, we're really excited. Uh, we think it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll see you there. All right, so here we are at the craft fair, and I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of our table and how much we're charging for everything. Okay, so here's our table, and we got some fudge that Nancy made for four bucks a brick. A decent size brick of fudge. We've got these house sets for $25. These tree sets back here are $15. The ornaments are $3 each, or we'll package them also. We've got nativities. We've got small nativity for $10. Medium nativity for $20. And then the large we're doing for 25. We got these figure sets that I talked about earlier. They're 10 each. And here's one of my favorites: a Christmas whale, five bucks. Then we got some single figures because I broke pieces while I was making these, and we're doing those for five bucks each. We're doing these blank tree sets for ten dollars each. They're a set of three. We've got these mangers doing for 15 this my daughter-in-law is doing balloon animals <laughs> and then we've got the pumpkin for $15 there's Nancy buying stuff from other people's <laughs> booths and then we've got just kind of some spare stuff we call them seconds we're doing them for $1 each they're just leftovers from other stuff all right so that's the setup and we will let you know how it goes Okay, so here we are. We're done with the uh, craft fair, and it's been a long day. It's been a great day. It's been a lot of fun. It's been fun. Um, we were there with uh, not just us, but Nancy's sister and our son and daughter-in-law and our grandchild. And so that was a lot of fun. Um, but what we're going to do now is run through all the numbers and uh, give you our takeaways and uh, wrap it all up. So I added up everything that we had to sell and how much we were charging. And that comes up to a total, if we sold out on everything, we could have made $744. Plus we had uh, some stuff we just called seconds, which is leftover little stuff from previous events and other things that we've made. And I didn't bother to add that up, but we were selling those for a dollar a piece. And um, actually we ended up selling them for like three items for a dollar, two items for a dollar, just kind of whatever we felt like at the time. And we didn't sell a lot of those. Um, so we could have made $744. What we did, what, the total we made, the gross was $289.50. And that represents 38.9% of the total possibility. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Mm, we would have liked more. I guess we <laughs> should say that. Um, so our expenses were the booth rental, which is $25. Uh, we paid $5 to get one of the tables that they had there. And we spent $2.50 on cheap gold tablecloths. So our total expenses were $32.50. And then we also bought pizza there. Uh, this was held at a school, 
and they were kind of doing a lunch fundraiser thing and we bought some pizza for a total of eight dollars and if you add all that up that was forty dollars and fifty cents so our net if you include all those expenses our net was two forty nine fifty for the day <laughs> Uh, and so I don't know that if you added up our time, like preparing for it, if we made any money or not, but we don't really count our time for this. Um, part of the, a big part, maybe the most part of the value for us is the fun. But, um, now you'll note, I didn't add any material costs like wood or anything. And that's because a fair amount of this stuff that we had to sell a fair number of our items was actually were actually items from before leftover from last year leftover from, we just held on to we had some nativities and some tree sets and some block house sets that we had from last year um and i didn't buy any wood i didn't buy anything for the shop and so that didn't include any material costs so our top selling items in reverse order were Number five, what do you think our number five selling item was? Without looking. I have no idea. The fudge. That was number five? That's the fudge. Number one. <laughs> the fudge was our fifth best selling item in, ter in terms of, of revenue. Oh. Okay. okay. We made $22 on fudge. We didn't, a couple of people we gave deals to on the fudge. And not only did we give some people deals, we just gave some fudge to people. So. And we ate some. That's true, we did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you think the th fourth thing was? Uh, I don't know. In terms of revenue, it was our mangers. Oh, right, right. So we, we made $30. Right. So that means we sold two. Last year, we only sold one to Nancy's mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the third one, what do you think that was? I can't even remember. Oh, the trees. Nope. Figure sets. Now, will you hold the microphone for a sec? Yeah. These are the figure sets. And the reason I'm pointing these out is this was our new item this year. This was, We've never done these before. And um, we had really high hopes because they're super cute. And they didn't sell. I'm gonna pull them back so they can see them together. Yeah. Okay. Here's, I don't know if you can see that, but they fit together like that. And um, anyway, they're really cute, and we like them. Yeah. So why wouldn't they sell? <laughs> um, so anyway, those were our third best seller in terms of revenue. Our second best seller. <sighs> do do. I can't even remember what we sold, so that's not going to help. Tree sets. Oh. The ones that you painted and papered. <laughs> right. So we made, we total earned $60 on that. And then our our most popular? Mangers. I mean the nativities. Nativities. Yeah. And I broke them out by the medium, small, and large nativities. And it was the large nativity that was our best seller. Um, we got $100 for those. If you collapse them all together, that was by far and away our best seller, is the nativities. And I think that's been our experience every year. So, nativities. Okay, so, uh, the takeaways from this experience for me was, one, I had a good time. Two, um, I wanted to make some money, and we did. Not a lot, but we made some money. And I liked, I liked trying out these new items. Um, that was fun. And three, it gives me some experience making things over and over and over again, which isn't necessarily fun, but it kind of packs a lot of woodworking experience into a small amount of time. That's good for me as I'm trying to learn more and more. What are your takeaways? Um, I liked that we had a new item, um, even though we sold four of them, right? So mm -hmm. we didn't sell a ton of them, but... They're cute, and I think that we'll keep doing them, right? Okay. Yes. Yes, we will. Um, and then uh, I think my my biggest takeaway is that we enjoy doing the craft shows. We the setting up is not fun. The taking down is not that fun. 
but sitting, we very much enjoy sitting and talking to people and um, just having conversations with those who are walking by looking at our stuff. So the takeaway for me is we like doing them even if we're not making a lot of money. We only do one craft show through the entire year. So if we wanted to make more money, we would need to do more craft shows. Yeah. But we don't I'm, really want yeah, to. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to do that. I, I just realized, I forgot to mention that um, also with us was our niece. Oh, yes. I didn't mention her, but we had a lot of fun yeah. visiting with her. Any any other takeaways? No. So for us, there's just one more thing to do, and that's put stuff away and clean the shop up. It is a mess. Um. Our recommendation for watch party snack tonight is Red Baron frozen pizza because that's what we're about to eat. That's right. Home style woodcraft.